Well, new information about the skydiver killed during a jump in Hamul. He was the brother-in-law of NASCAR legend and East County native Jimmy Johnson. Tenders reporter Matt Mendez has been following the story since it broke and explains what happened just before the mid-air collision. You can tell Jordan Janway lived life on the edge. His Facebook profile under his nickname Jordo shows he worked as an adventurer. Some of his Facebook pictures show him in an airplane and skydive attire. He died Sunday doing what he loved. It's a very tight-knit community. Everybody's having a hard time right now. 10 News was first to report Janway is the brother-in-law to NASCAR driver and Al Cajon native Jimmy Johnson. Johnson is seen here with his wife, Chandra, Janway's sister. Johnson released this statement on his website Monday. In part, it reads, the Johnsons are saddened by the tragic passing. Jordan was an incredible son, brother, uncle, and friend, and will be dearly missed. Please keep the Janway family in your thoughts and prayers. I mean, Jordan was just a down-to-earth guy. He wasn't there to say, hey, my brother-in-law is Jimmy Johnson or something. He was just a down-to-earth guy. Janway was doing an exercise called tracking, where you learn to keep your distance from other skydivers. This 10 News virtual view shows you what investigators say happened. Janway jumped from a Cessna along with two other skydivers. He collided with one of those skydivers and fell to his death. His parachute was never deployed. It's unclear whether he was knocked unconscious or had some other medical condition. This happens to be a Cypress automatic activation device. Think showed us this automatic activation device that'll monitor how fast you're falling and the altitude. If it detects a problem, it'll deploy your parachute automatically. Janway owned one of these, but had just taken it in for maintenance. That device would have likely saved his life. It would have deployed his parachute a thousand feet above ground. That's more than three times the size of a football field. But the experienced 27 year old skydiver wasn't required to use one because he has more than a thousand jumps. Matt Mendes, 10 News.